the equi join statement that we used in one of our last videos is in front of you this one with equality operator is equal to sign and the result is in front of you as well 106 rows please remember table in EMP has 107 rows in it with one employee Kimberly does not belong to any department and so he does not have any department ID and we are not retrieving his details with the help of this equi join we'll have to deal with this problem in future videos but just keep that in mind now we can achieve the same results as we did with the help of this equi join with another type of join known as natural join and today's video is just about that a natural join can be used with three different clauses which means with three different keywords in different combinations and these keywords are natural join using and on and in this video we'll only use what is to be very precise is known as pure natural join other two options will be discussed in forthcoming videos a natural join syntax automatically detects columns that can be used to join to two tables instead of you specifying the the criteria in where clause so that appeals to a lot of people and a lot of people think that's easier to write the word natural joins ask a relational database management system to find columns in both tables that have same name so one of the requirement is that both tables should have a column with exactly the same name and this of course as I stated eliminates the need to use where clause and join condition but you'll still have to use both tables ie source table and target table in this example one table is source table and the other table is target table so you'll say what is the difference between equi join and a natural join well if your source and target tables both have a column with exactly the same name then probably natural join syntax is easy to write I would say it is easy to read and understand it sometimes depends upon which query performs better in your relational database management system depending upon the structure of your tables the structure of your database most of the time it all comes to personal choice so let's see an example of what is commonly known as pure natural join and that's how you write this statement select from EMP natural join the ABD so that is all you have to do so you don't have to use a where clause you don't have to use a join condition you don't have to use an equality operator you don't have to use the names of the columns from both tables and it all depends if your tables EMP source table and target table both tables have a column with exactly the same name so if you run this query you'll have exactly the same results and you'll notice the another difference between this statement and this statement that if you run this one I'll pin this one this is the result of this query and if you run this statement you'll see the department ID has been repeated twice in the result set versus in this one uh, it is only one time the number of rows exactly the same 106 and we are still missing the gentleman who is not associated with any department but we'll see how to deal with, with that problem in future thank you very much